Truth or dare! Truth or dare! Truth or dare! Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizardly Reads, and as always guys, I'm Andrew, and today guys, today I got another tag for you, but before we get to that tag, make sure you are liking and subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content, plus every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that said guys, um, if you watch the intro, it's the Truth or Dare book tag. Uh, I was tagged in this by my booktube big sister, Leslie, from the Nerdy Narrative. And guys, I have been seeing this one go around a few times uh, in recent days. And I'm nervous because I have seen what could possibly be required of me, Andrew of the Wizardly Reads. And that makes me nervous. But uh, I'm going to give it my best shot. It's a 10 question book tag. It's a lot of fun. Let's jump right on into this. All right. So with number one. Truth. Truth. What is your bookish unpopular opinions? And dare. Do one of your bookish pet peeves. I.e. dog ear a page, crack a spine, or write in a book. Now, I'm lame and I've got this nice little quarter. Uh, let's say heads is truth and tails is dare. So, alright. I'm going to try and not be like Leslie. And hurt myself. And I believe I said heads was truth and tails was dare. So we've got heads. Uh, which is truth. What is one of your bookish unpopular opinions? Uh, I'm pretty vocal about my unpopular opinions. So let me try and think of one that I think is new. Uh, let's see. I... Hmm... Bookish unpopular opinions. Oh no, like, you know when the moment you sit down in front of the camera and you just can't think of anything and your mind just goes <laughs> So, uh, my bookish unpopular opinion, I am guess I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna go with a doozy here. I think that Sanderson is just a hair overrated. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, Sanderson writes great books. He deserves all of his acclaim. Uh, he doesn't blow my mind. And, uh, you know, he's had a couple misses for me. And, like, he writes really good books. But, uh, yeah, that is my bookish unpopular opinion. Now, that said, I've got a shelf of Sanderson. So, yes, I like Sanderson. And I think he's a fantastic author. I, I just think that Rhythm of War, uh, you know, you may love Rhythm of War. I really, really didn't like Rhythm of War. Uh, so, that's going to be my bookish unpopular opinion. And I know people are going to be coming for me. But no, I, I, I'm going to keep reading all of his books as they release. I'm not going to buy the Leather Bounds. But yeah, I, I feel the need to uh, put it a, a caveat there. I love Sanderson. Uh, he did finish Wheel of Time. I've got many, many of his books. I just don't think he's the end-all be-all. All right, number two. Uh, truth. Who are your favorite booktubers and dare? Rearrange one of your shelves and leave it for the remainder of the video. So let's go ahead and flip. Okay, so heads is truth, tails is dare. Okay, gotta remind myself. Oh, I caught it. All right, tails. Uh, rearrange one of your shelves and leave it for the remainder of the video. Okay, so you can see this one. So we're gonna go ahead and smack that right dab in the center. We're gonna take the seventh cadence and we're gonna move it to that shelf right there. We're gonna take my wand and uh, I don't know. Um, we're gonna remove it from the bookshelf entirely. Boom. And then we're gonna take this book, pop it right here. We're gonna take this book. Oh, this this doesn't feel good. I don't I don't like this. And then we're gonna take this book. I'm gonna pop you right there. I'm really going for it, guys. And, uh, I'm gonna drop that book. I'm gonna pick it back up. And then what can I do? I can slot you right there. And, oh yeah, that, that's aggravating. What can I do with you? I'm gonna take you and put you right there. And then we're gonna take no face and put him right there. There we go. All out of order. Now what did I do with my coin? Ah, I found it over here. Okay, number three, truth or dare. So, I haven't even read the prompts. Uh, truth, what are your guilty pleasure reads and dare? See how many books you can hold at one time. 
see how many books I can hold at one time. Okay, guys. Um, hold on. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all this. And I am going to take said stool. Pop it right there. And then we are going to take all of these right here. Okay. Realm of the Elderlings. What else can I do here? Uh, Goblin 2, Papa. Uh, how many more do I dare? Don't fall over. I'll be very sad. Ugh. We currently have two shelves worth. Oh, I can't do that. No, 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 no. No, 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 Okay, after those very, 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 very interesting reps, uh, let's move on to number four. Uh, let's see. So for truth, we've got, uh, have you ever, um, oh, you have to delete one of your bookish social medias. Which do you pick? Uh, Dare, explain the entire plot of your favorite book to someone you know. This can be done over video chat. Heads, uh, let's see. Uh, if I have to delete one of my social medias, guys, that's gonna be Instagram. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I use Instagram for, you know, Bookstagram and like I go in and I like people's stuff. But as soon as you tag me in something, I get completely lost. Like I don't know how to do the whole story thing. It's such a confusing social media to me. Like I've got Twitter, I've got, I, I post on Facebook. I of course do YouTube. Uh, I've got, I, I post in Reddit. Um, yeah, like, it's just, it's one of those things where I'm just like, uh, I, I just don't understand Instagram. I try. I, I really do. Like, people will, like, tag me in something, and they're like, oh, what about you? And I'll be like, here's, here's the answer to that. I don't know how to tag people. I, I, I just don't understand it. It just refuses to click for me. So, uh, yeah, it would be Instagram. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you've used for a bookmark? I've answered this one before. And, uh, that's truth. Dare, balance a book on your head for 30 seconds. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, the weirdest thing I have used uh, as a bookmark, I got truth, by the way, since that's the one I'm answering, uh, is my face. Uh, I, I remember I used to fall asleep uh, while reading. I would just pop the book right on my face, and then I would just resume as soon as I was uh, done with my nap. All right. So... Use as a bookmark. Number six. All right, we're moving right along. Again, I did not read it yet. So we've got a result, and we don't know even the questions. So, uh, number six, truth. If you had to burn one book, which would it be? Uh, dare. Build a stack of books as tall as you are. Feel free to name it. This is your new friend. Leave it for the remainder of this video. Oh, it's truth, guys. It's truth. Uh, if I had to burn one book, which would it be? It would probably be The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I don't like The Poppy War. Uh, it angers me, and I don't understand it. So uh, if I had to burn one book, that would be it. Now, if it's a book that I own, um, I've got like an additional copy of The Dragon Bone Chair. Uh, I could burn that one. I don't want to. And I've got... Um, a copy that I have yet to unhaul of the Foundation Barnes & Noble edition. Uh, I could burn that, but I'm, I'm gifting that to, to a friend. So, uh, yeah, those are my answers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Number seven, truth. Oh, hold on. Let's flip. Let, 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 let's just embrace the chaos. All right, so we've got an answer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Are we at seven? Burn one book. Yeah, seven. So, truth. Grab a random book from your shelf. Open it to a random page, find a question, and answer it honestly. Uh, dare, write yourself a note and stick it in a book you haven't read yet. It can be inspirational or not. Uh, this is write myself a note. Okay. So I've got a post-it. I've got a pen. 
Uh, let's see. Hmm. What note do I want to leave future Andrew? Oh, and grab a random book. Let's go ahead and... Eh. Uh, she dreams in blood. Um... About... All right, we've got our note. It says, about time you read this, Andrew. I don't know if you can see my atrocious handwriting. And we are going to, right there, in the book, it's in there. We're going to put that back on the shelf, just like that. All right, so that's number eight. Eight, we are on to now. <sighs> Number eight, truth. Uh, what's one bookish thing that scares you? Bookish thing that scares me. Uh, dare, grab a random book and sing a little song about it and use the title in the song. Oh, I was scared of this one. I got heads. Uh, so that's a truth. Uh, what's a bookish thing that scares me? A bookish thing that scares me. Um, like a bookish item, a bookish item that scares me. Like, I mean, like cracking spines scares me a little bit. Uh, I'm very susceptible to horror. Uh, so I'm scared of horror, uh, just because I'm a big old wuss. Uh, what's a bookish thing that scares me? I, I guess I could be scared of like my, my bookshelf falling on me while I work. So that could, that could potentially be an answer there. Uh, a bookish thing that scares me. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I used to be, I used to be like terrified of like the tassel coming off my bookmark, but I don't really use those bookmarks anymore. So I can't use that as an answer. All right. Uh, so we're on number nine. Pick one of your bookshelf, bookshelf decorations and tell us a story behind it. Dare. Name a book. For every letter of the alphabet. Ugh. Uh, I got dare. Uh, A is... Pfft. A... God, I don't have this right off the top of my head. Uh, I'm assuming, like, it has to match up. Um... A? A an echo of things to come. Uh, B can be Bloodline by Will White. C could be... Uh, City of Blood by Daniel Barnett. Uh, we're at D for Dune. E is... E... Guys, I really don't want to do this. Uh, e... Uh... E is in Rise of Empire. I don't know. Uh, F is in Faithful in the Fallen. G is in Ghostwater by Will White. Do I have an H? I don't know. H is in Harry Potter. I as in The Institute by Stephen King. J as in Jerusalem's Lot by Stephen King. K as in Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. L as in The Light of All Things to Fall by James Islington. M as in Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn by Tad Williams. N as in Necroscope. Uh, P. You can tell I'm getting irritated. Uh, P is in... <sighs> yeah, um, we've suffered enough. I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not going to keep doing that. Okay, we're going to just flip it one more time. Uh, heads, which is truth. Uh, what are two characters from two different books that you would ship... And close your eyes, grab a random book, and try to guess what it is based on how it feels. Well, I I looked beforehand. I got the truth. Uh, I would pair 
Um, Yaren Aurelius from the Cradle series. And how about Kennet from the Ship of Magic? Because basically, I think Yaren would kick Kennet's keister up and down the yard. All right, so that is the end. So it's time for me to tag some people. So I've got some tags. Uh, we're going to do Ariel from a couple books with Ariel. I love Ariel's channel. Definitely check her out. I'm going to do Ellen Awada. Uh, I, Ellen, I don't know if you've already done this one, but if you haven't, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tag you. And then I am going to do Barb from Barb's Bookland and Nico from Nico's Book Reviews. Guys, you are tagged. That is the end of this tag. I know I copped out on one of them, but nobody wanted to sit through that. So, uh, with that said, guys, make sure to check the description down below for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord. We would love to have you there. Please, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this tag or my reaction to some of the answers. Did I get salty? Yes. Um, did I have some hot takes? Yes. And if you want to support the channel on a more regular basis, you can always sign up for the Patreon. That said, guys, um, till next time, peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, guys, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons.